What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back into Barley Studios. Who's ready for another video in this awesome playlist here on YouTube? Now in this series, we have been creating an awesome vintage fishing bobber canvas painting. Yes, it's a mouthful, but it's an awesome little project. Now, as you can see, we're going through some highlight clips of me painting a charcoal and graphite sketch of me and my father on the back of this canvas. Yes, this canvas is a, a gift for him for this Christmas. So this video is not being released until January of 2024. Yeah, as you can see here, I did finish out that sketch and it's pretty good overall. I'm very happy with how it turned out and we're ready to move on to the varnishing process. Now, if you haven't had the opportunity to check out the previous videos in this playlist, make sure you do so. One of those, of course, is where we're sculpting the 3D elements out of Sculpey Original. Then we went ahead and hit it with a layer of gesso before detail painting it to this awesome red and white tone that you see here. I, of course, used an, a, a multitude of different acrylics and inks to give it an overall dinged effect. And now we're going to go ahead and begin the process of, of uh, applying a Liquitex Satin Varnish. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and be very very detailed about this. I don't want a ton of drips, but I also do want to apply a nice thick layer. We're going to use a, a just a flat, low, a medium sized brush here to apply this varnish. And I kind of want to make sure that the, the strokes of the paintbrush follow the overall um, kind of streaks that I had left in the varnish. Uh, and the gesso layers as you can see there you can see those gesso ripples that I had used uh, uh, just a very thick layer and left kind of a, a uh, brush texture behind in the general shape of the circular canvas I wanted to make sure I can kind of see that through the varnish a little bit even if it's just going to catch the light ever so barely I want to make sure that, that is captured if you're interested in buying any of these uh, these little bobber canvas uh, paintings, whether it's this or the oval one, make sure you definitely check out my Etsy shop, uh, and uh, it's always linked below in the description. Before we uh, finish up this video, you will also see me varnish the back of this canvas as well. Now, just remember that I did apply a gesso layer to the back of the canvas before I made that sketch. Uh, in, in that video, I described why I did that. I was uh, struggling with the teeth of the canvas on the back, just uh, creating too much of a rough texture to, for me to really put down a nice sketch the way that I wanted to. And this is the canvas where I was experimenting with actually gessoing the back of it before I started the sketch. It turned out very successful and I also made a little video for the tips and tricks playlist here on YouTube so you can check that out as well. But as you can see here, I'm just being very detailed, trying not to leave any kind of uh, drips behind. And I'm also going to pick this canvas up quite a few times as it kind of sets up over the next 10 minutes or so. So it doesn't uh, uh, kind of stick to the tile that I have laid on my work surface. After that is completely cured, we are going to go ahead and hit it with a second coat. I only do two coats in total to the very uh, forward facing port of the canvas here. Uh, and this is, of course, the display side. So we're just going to go ahead and finish up this up in time lapse before we flip it over and start to work on the edges. All right, so as we finish up the front there and we let that completely cure, we'll see the finished effect in just a few moments. So don't don't fret, we'll get around to that here shortly. We're also gonna go ahead and uh, varnish the back side. I really do enjoy painting around to the back side of the canvases. Uh, although it does take more time and a little bit extra paint and patience, it is well worth it. This one is more so more, uh, needs a little bit more patience than other canvases just because it has the rippled effect where the canvas is curved around the circular item or the circular uh, frame, but uh, it, it's well worth it when it's all said and done. So we're just gonna grab a small brush here and we're gonna just slowly, uh, very meticulously apply this varnish all the way around in between all these little frills of leftover canvas. Uh, 
uh, and in doing so we're going to be very detailed so we don't cover up or uh, drip over the edges towards the front of the canvas we're going to use a fan brush as you can see here to give the actual sketch or the graphite sketch its layer of uh, varnish just to kind of lock it in and protect it from for future damage or wear and tear humidity anything like that or if somebody's handling the canvas i don't want that charcoal to rub off on their fingers now I am going to take the top off my varnished uh, container here and we're just going to dab it on a little bit at a time until we're all the way around. I'll start off in real time and then we'll break off into a time lapse video because this is just a very long, tedious process which took about maybe 15 minutes or so. So sit back and enjoy and then we'll catch you at the next step. All right, so with that completely finished, we're gonna go ahead and use the fan brush with a little bit more varnish than what we used on the sides and on the, the back there. And we're gonna be a lot more messy with this. I don't care if it kind of lays in those particular areas, it's gonna lay the way it needs to lay. And as long as it's not pulling too badly in a particular area, then we're pretty good. I'm also gonna run that up onto the sides, which also has all of the canvas details and my information on it. So if this does even ever leave my father's hands, then of course it has my information on it for who made this piece of art. But as you can see there, we're just going to leave that on there. We're only going to do one coat on this just to lock in that, that charcoal. Uh, and as you can see here towards the end of the video, when we do a showcase of the overall finish of the, the Liquitex satin, which is absolutely amazing, by the way. Uh, if I ever get sponsored by a, a, a brand of any sort, it might be Liquitex. They're absolutely awesome. So Liquitex, reach out to me, guys. But we'll go ahead and lock in this in uh, in in the uh, the layer here, and we'll go ahead and let it cure up overnight, uh, and then we'll catch back in the next stage of just kind of showcasing it in the uh, in the last part of this little video here. So we're gonna let it set, and we're just gonna check back in the next day. 
So here it is uh, as it is wet. You can see it's not full coverage over the charcoal, but it's giving enough to where it's gonna give a nice protective layer. That's all that's in, important. And as you can see, that Mars Black rolled over paint onto the back of the canvas does make it look very professional and it is fully, fully covered. It looks really good instead of that raw canvas being left behind. Here is the finished effect on the front. You can really see that the light glistens off of that varnish. It is an absolute amazing quality of varnish and I love using this. Liquitex Satin, absolutely amazing. Of course, they have flat and glossy as well, depending on the project that you have. Just use what you ha what need to to meet the needs of the project that you have on hand. There's the edge right there. We were very, very detailed in as far as not leaving any drips behind. It is a great overall finish. And then here is the back. You can see it's completely finished out and it also has that nice, uh, like kind of glare shimmer to it. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making this project and I can't wait to give it to my father for Christmas of 2023. And of course, all of the videos in this playlist will have been released by the end of January in 2024. So I hope you had the opportunity to watch those. If you haven't, make sure you do, go do so. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like and leave a comment below. What would you like to see next from this awesome, awesome studio? Later, guys. Happy fishing.